Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's going to be episode two in our introduction to Kivi with Python tutorial series. And if you missed the first video, um, this is the code that we are starting from because we built it in the last video. It's definitely something you can get caught up to right now. But if you missed it, Kivi is essentially a universal app building package that uses Python code to drive it. And once you have an app in Kivi, it works on uh, Mac, PC, Linux both Android and Apple uh, app stores. So it's a really powerful tool to build um, <clears throat> apps that you can roll out in a variety of places. Today we're gonna get started with actually putting some, um, some labels and uh, text inputs on our screen. So last time we created, this, uh, we created this app that just opens a window that says hello world and uh, kind of the nice feature of Kivi we touched on is it's it's rapidly resizable this is how it works on so many platforms so we played around with that a little bit let's start building something a little bit more useful let's make uh, what would be considered like a login screen so a few more things we're gonna import for this video a few more user interface um, options we're gonna grab a grid layout and what that actually means um, we'll get into as we dive into the video and then we'll also need um, a text input. So both of those are going to come from the kivi.uix, which means user interface um, <clears throat> package. And again, the kivi standard is uh, for importing things is always going to be kind of this, like from, and then everything is lowercase, and then once you're importing, it's usually going to be first letter of each word is uppercase. That's just kind of uh, the kivi standard. And once we get into actually using the kv design language, which we will get into. Um, that'll that'll become really obvious too. So we're gonna make another class, and we'll actually call this our login screen. And this will be where we build out the, the everything. And then in here, we're gonna say we want this to be a grid layout, right? So a grid layout essentially is dividing your screen up into a grid uh, with a certain number of rows and columns, and that's where it's gonna stick the different things that you define. So that's just a brief introduction to it, but let's go ahead and actually build something in it so we can see what that means. Um, so for making, uh, it, you're probably familiar with, Py if you're familiar with Python, you're probably familiar with the init function when you create a class. Um, but something we do for uh, Kivi is uh, def init self, and then we also pass in these uh, kw args, these arguments. Um, and because we're we're pulling in a super <clears throat> um, so we're gonna say login screen and self okay and some of this just uh, understand this is what you need to do um, you can dig into why if you really want but essentially what we just created here is what you're gonna create every time you make it a class for another screen within Kivi so it's one of those things you follow along, you do it a few times, and then you're familiar with it, and uh, you won't have any problems. So those are going to be your first couple lines pretty much always. And now we'll actually get into the specific design stuff. So self.calls, we're defining how many columns are in our grid layout here. And we'll go with two right now, because all we want is a box that asks you for your username and asks you for a password, and then we'll make a couple text inputs. <clears throat> So we're going to use this kivi self.add widget function um, to actually put a couple labels on the screen. And so label text equals and then username, right? Um, if you watched the last video, you've seen this label text equals format before. Um, but then if you're building a screen separately that you plan on calling later, you have to use this add widget functionality to stick it into a grid. Um, so that's what we did here. And then uh, let's call this self.username. So what we did is we just stuck a widget on the screen that's gonna say username. And by default, it's gonna start in the top left. Um, that's kind of the grid layout format as it goes left to right and then top to bottom if you don't define a placement for everything. So we will eventually touch on defining a placement, but for now we're just gonna get a, a login screen going. So then we'll say self.username equals, and this is gonna be a new one, text input. That's what we uh, brought in for this video. And then we'll say multi-line equals false, and that's the only parameter we'll give it for now. Um, 
but this is saying that right next to the actual username uh, box, there's going to be a text input where you enter data, you enter your username, and you're not going to be able to go to the next level. So that'll kind of limit total characters. Um, but that's probably the most common sort of username entry field that you've seen is it's just one line of text anyways. Um, and then we're going to use that add widget function again, self dot add widget. And we're going to tell them username. And I think I spelled that right. Okay. And this, this is pretty cool. Uh, if actually what we have to do as well, um, inside of our app, rather than returning this label. Now we are just going to call login screen. Um, so now before we were saying, okay, here's my master app. All I want to do is stick a label saying hello world in the middle of it. Now I want to take the whole app and I want to stuff the login screen inside of it. So we should be able to see username on the screen if we run it real quick. Uh, grid layout is not defined. Well, I disagree. Class login screen. Oh, it's because I didn't capitalize the L. After all that talk about syntax, there we go. Well, I thought it was because I didn't capitalize the L. Username is not defined. That's because it's self.username. Awesome. Sy little syntax checks when you're trying to go fast, they, uh, they never work. <laughs> So let's go ahead and say, uh, look at that. So we made the username label and we are trying to make a, a long username, but if I hit enter, it doesn't let me go down to the next line. I can type really long and it'll scroll over, but there's no multi line. Um, so that's pretty cool, but really what we want is username and password. So I'm gonna grab all three of these lines we just made and I'm gonna modify these ones to be for the password. And there's actually something pretty cool that we're gonna do, um, which is we're actually going to make it so that when you type in a password, the um, program is storing the text that you're entering, but it's using those asterisks um, on screen so that, right, it's kind of a privacy feature that you probably used to any time you've seen a password. It's very normal for login screens to do this. And in Kivi, it's actually a setting called password. And so we're gonna say password is true and multi-line is false. <clears throat> and we don't have to do anything down to uh, our, our, our class for the app or the run logic. Um, we just stuffed a little bit of extra in here. And then if we go ahead and run this, we now see we get username and password. And we'll say Pete, Pete is a cool username. And if I type in the password, uh, you know, I'm typing in secret password right now, but there's no way you guys could know that because we set that password um, parameter true. So right there, that's kind of cool. Under 10 minutes and we built a functioning login page for an app. Um, so uh, hopefully you found that useful. Uh, if you have any questions or want to make sure something gets covered in this series, feel free to let me know about in the comments. Otherwise, if you found this or anything else on the channel useful, I really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks so much for watching the channel. Thanks. Bye.